right. Welcome to this session on the Motivate program. Um, the, we just finished a pilot test of this program back in the fall, and we took what we learned from the people who did the program and made some changes and tweaked some things, trying to figure out just the right combination of the priorities for creating a habit-based program that addresses the most important issues, the most important things that people deal with every day. And this is the program that we have come up with. We will probably be continuing to change it. And I am hoping that based on some of the feedback that we got from people last time around, I know we've got at least one person who's planning to do this program again because she said she liked it so much, she would like to do it again. So what, we've got, what we're going to come up with over time is a way to take this program teach everybody the fundamentals, and then create something ongoing so that everybody can kind of stay on that path, stay with the whole sort of idea of mindset and habit change always front of mind. So what we want you to get out of this for tonight is the, this how this is different from diet programs and exercise programs and challenges and see how some people struggle with weight loss and exercise discipline and just general self-care. What goes into making somebody successful in making changes and what happens with the people that aren't successful? And the cool thing is that because I just loved studying psychology and marketing and all that kind of stuff in my college days, there's so much that comes back to mindset and just getting the, the right habits established. And then you'll see that we're going to be supporting you in making those changes. So um, I think most all of you know a little something about Train Smarter. Um, I'm Susan Finley, and that is Patrick Cook. He is our general manager, corrective exercise specialist, massage therapist, and all around wonderful person. He keeps me sane. And that's a pretty big job. Um, we want to help you find your way through the things that are getting you down here, the things that have brought you here. Maybe it's been a lot of other programs that you've tried and they might have worked. They might not have worked. But if you've tried them before and they didn't work, then you decided it just wasn't the right program. If you tried it before and it did work. But some reason you didn't stay with it, you might be tempted to go back to it. But then that gets you into that cycle of, you know, you're doing it and then you're not doing it. You're doing it and you're on to it. There's a missing link there. Maybe you know what you need to do with for your health. Like a lot of people feel about exercise. I know how to do that, but they don't stick with it. They don't, they're pieces of it. They're missing. And Sometimes just the thoughts of it on top of everything else that's going out on in your life just <laughs> piling on and makes it all overwhelming and exhausting. And a lot of people are just tired of trying to figure it out on their own. And the other one is you might feel kind of stuck and not know where to start. That was pretty common too. I know a lot of people who have come in and I had this one client who came in one time and said, well, I don't really think this is going to work, but I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Okay. And still at all, you really want something to change. Over the years, and I've seen all of these evolutions personally since I've been in the industry for so long, we started out with exercise programs and we had... Um, all of this sort of Jane Fonda, feel the burn kind of stuff. And that didn't really work all that great because we didn't realize then that exercise wasn't really about burning calories. And then we went to transformation challenges and challenges were huge for a while. But the problem with those was, yeah, they worked for six weeks to a point, but a lot of them were so intense, nobody's going to live that way. And the rest of them you know, you make that transformation over six weeks and then what? We did meal plans and recipes and I still have people asking me for that. Um, when we did the Eat Smarter program, I had one guy who was just, you know, when are you going to tell me what to eat? When are you going to tell me what to eat? And I was like, I'm not, I'm going to tell you how to eat, but I'm not going to tell you what to eat. 
because I'm not going to be your your grocery policeman. We've been doing coaching and coaching actually works really well, but it only covers part of it. And then there's the seminar and workshop where you can go and you got all the tools, but how do you implement and where, where does that go from there? And then there's the accountability piece. We've got lots of pieces. Some of them work well by standalone, but they're not enough by themselves. So we find that there are some people who struggle to stick with healthy eating habits. And then there are some who make a change and they just stay with it for life. The interesting thing to me has been over all these years, it has been really rare. I can think two people come to my mind who were significantly overweight and they decided to make changes and they have kept those things going, but even they have had some sort of like ups and downs going. What's the difference between somebody who succeeds and somebody who struggles? And what do we need to teach clients to end their struggle and help them succeed long term? And that's been that's been the sticky piece for us because we just see so many people succeed for a while, and then get caught, get stuck. You will still see in a lot of places that it is just simple math, just eat less and exercise more, but it's not algebra. Getting your to your optimal health goals takes more than just another diet or exercise program. There are missing links, and there's such it's this whole thing is just such a cool concept there's so many pieces that go into making you succeed or fail a lot of them we're not even conscious of and so to just to get a quick snippet of what that looks like take a look at this good morning good morning everybody thank you for being here um where is motivation Motivation's never here. Even I get to the meetings in the morning and I'm forgetfulness. Like motivation is never here. Uh, let's see everybody else here. Good, good, good. Where's procrastination? Son of a I'm here, I'm here. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, let's see. So Tip wakes up in about 20 minutes. She's got a pretty exciting day ahead. She's got Sarah's birthday cupcakes at school, birthday party tonight. And she has to prepare the fundraiser forms for the PTO meeting tomorrow. So how can we pick this up? Already on it. So last night she wanted to lay out the kids' clothes. So she was like ready in the morning or whatever. And uh, I convinced her to watch The Walking Dead instead. Ooh, very good. Okay. People still watch that. I'll tell you what. After Glenn died, I just... What? Glenn died? Yes, anxiety. Glenn died. You weren't there that night. Depression was there and did a great job, might I add. She didn't get out of bed for two days after Glenn died. She really wanted it to be that redheaded guy. I know. Uh, anyway, good. So she'll be a psycho in the morning. That's perfect. I can um I can remind her of all of the crap that she has to do. Same as always. You gotta do this, you gotta do that, but say it in like a really panicked voice so that she gets really overwhelmed. Good anxiety. Good. I'll come in and drain her desire to do it. Yes, depression. Good idea. This is good. I like how we're working as a team, guys, okay? She's also supposed to be starting a diet today. So addiction, I need you to show up. Make sure she walks by those almond scones when she goes to pick up the cupcakes for the school, okay? She can never say no. You got it, Bob. When she's done, um, I can remind her what a failure she is in case she forgot and just let her know she'll always be wearing maternity pants even when she's not pregnant because she can't control her eating. Okay, and then you come in and make her panic. Um, I can continue just uh, list, listing things off. You know what I mean? In like a really panicky. Yes, good. I need anxiety and social awkwardness. Go to the party with her. I should probably go to the party too, right? Empathy. Yes, you should definitely go to it. Yes, because then she'll be completely drained by the time she's done. So many people just absorbing all their energy. That is good. Okay. Once she gets home and she gets the kids to bed. I got it from there. 
can always count on you. Okay, great. Let's get out there and torment her and make her look like a complete psycho. That way everybody around her thinks she's absolutely crazy. Go, places, places, anxiety. This is a lot. Is this not a lot, you guys? Go, 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 go. Can you see the stress and the sleeplessness? There are so many things that affect our mindset and affect our ability to achieve our goals. They affect our ability to burn calories. Even dieting itself creates a stress when we start depriving ourselves of the food that our body needs. Okay, here at Snoozies, we have a confession Oops. for you. Let us stop love that. There we go. So just getting the right food and just getting a lot of exercise still isn't going to create lasting sustainable change. It's kind of comparable to building a house and you can build this house and you can spend a ton of money on fancy windows and pretty shutters and a great looking roof and have everything all decked out. But if the foundation isn't really solid, then you start to get cracks in the foundation. And then what happens is everything above ground starts to go. You could kind of compare that to the quick fix programs, the extreme workout plans, restrictive diets, weight loss programs, weight loss products. There's so many programs out there right now that are selling the 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 bars and the diet stuff and the guy who started um Nutrisystem was quoted once as saying that the weight loss business was the best business on the planet to be in because people come to you they lose the weight they go off the program the weight comes back on so they say oh wow well that worked before I'll go back and do it again so you get this cycle of repeat customers coming over and over again because they just don't ever figure out what foundationally needed to change, which is mindset and habits. This is such cool stuff. I just really geek out on this. So <laughs> most plans and programs will tell you what to do. You have a boiled egg and dry toast and whatever for breakfast. And then you want to go and you do your workout. Maybe you, you, and it's usually those really sort of like when they even, I mean, I'm embarrassed by the fact that so many people in my industry are still pushing these metabolic workouts with lots of burpees and jumps and all this kind of stuff. That's just sort of flailing kind of stuff. And they're going to give you these prescriptions for what you need to do, these actions, and the actions are designed to create these outcomes. But the piece that's missing is where your thoughts are, what your mindset is, because your mindset is directly responsible for your actions, which then create those outcomes. So if you don't change your thoughts, if you still believe fundamentally even in a sort of subconscious way that you can't ever do this, that you never stick with it, that diets don't work for you, that you're genetically programmed to hang on to body fat because half the people in your family were overweight or that there are things that are out of your control, then no matter how many actions you do, you're not going to get the outcomes you want as long as you don't have the right mindset behind it. And so let's talk about two different mindsets. One is that dieter mindset. And the dieter mindset is the one that if you are, Lord knows if you're my age and probably lots of years above and below, we all know what that dieter mindset is. It's the deprivation. I'm going to start on Monday. I can have this. I can't have that. The magic Cabbage soup diet is what I'm going to do. That's what's going to get this. If I if I could just get these 10 pounds, 15 pounds off, then I'll have this momentum going and I can stay with this and, and get to where I want to be. I've, I've seen it so many times and it's all never worked, which is why I'm so impressed with how well this whole idea of the motivate mindset works. 
That dieter mindset is focused on cutting calories, eating less. The fact that you're trying to lose weight, maybe you just need to cut your portions down. There's a lot, if you look at it, is a lot of preoccupation. There's a lot of deprivation. There's a lot of focus on control. There's a lot of sense of, I've given this, I'm in this place, and if I don't really, really, really work hard and pay really close attention, this is never going to happen. And already you can just feel the tension rise in the stress. The momentum mindset says, I'm going to add certain foods. I'm going to increase certain types of food, high quality food. The, your workouts are going to be getting stronger, more fit and healthy, not about burning calories. <laughs> it's not about depriving yourself. It's, whoops, sorry. Skip my slide. It's about being mindful, but not preoccupied and about paying attention to how it makes you feel. And you can still enjoy your favorite foods instead of feeling like you're having to eat foods that you really don't much like, but they're diet foods or they're low calorie foods or whatever. I mean, if you just think about the difference in these two mindsets, you can tell which one sounds like the one you'd want to do and why you really wouldn't want to be in that diet or mindset. So building a stronger foundation of mindset and habits takes some effort and planning and honestly, some coaching and directions because I've spent a ton of time studying this and I'm I'm not great at it yet. I just, I know how well it works. I love it so much, but I know it is a complete mind shift from anything else that I ever knew. So the Motivate program is eight weeks that teach you the mindset and habits that you're going to have to acquire if you really want to be successful in reaching your goals without white knuckling your way to it. So, and it's all about dealing with missing links mindset. You want to be substituting that motivate mindset for the dieter mindset. And we will be coaching you on making changes. And the fact that with habit change, it's not about, this was like a, this huge aha to me. I don't know if you've ever read um, Atomic Habits, but they talk about how they used to say, you know, how long does it take to create a new habit? And it would be, you know, three months or 12 weeks or 15 weeks or some period of time. The fact is, in order to create a new habit, it is more contingent on how many times you repeat the habit. So if you are going to try to improve your sleep and decide that you want to go to bed at a certain bedtime, you are going to make that new habit work much more quickly if you practice that habit every day than if you only manage to do it on certain days of the week over more time. And that is part of how the program works is reinforcing these habits on a day-to-day -day basis. The everyday eight healthy habits are designed to sort of choose starting with the ones that are the easiest and moving down to the ones that maybe you take a little bit more effort and challenge. But the thing is, the success breeds success. So the more you get more confidence in yourself as you see that you can accomplish creating these new habits, the more exciting it is to keep moving forward. It is not a diet program. We're not going to tell you what to eat or when to eat it. The only thing I would say is we will be encouraging you to get the, the, an adequate, what I consider to be an adequate amount of protein in a day. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But it's not about a challenge. There are no winners and losers because in this case, you can't lose. And you're going to be building these mindful nutrition habits without having, you're going to learn how to look at a menu and make and decide what you want, but we're not going to tell you that you should have this or that, because those are decisions that only you can make. Weight loss is, it's one of these, um, this, one of, this always reminds me of one of my very favorite quotes, which is, if you focus on results, you won't change. If you focus on change, you'll see results. So the program really is most successful when you decide to focus on the, on the process. 
and the whole process, your success is not going to be that you lost X amount of weight. The success is going to be in the fact that you did your habits today and you accomplished your, you got your workout in, you got your daily movement in. Every day you will have a success. And as long as you're focused on that, you're going to turn around ultimately and kind of go, whoa, I'm a completely different place now than I was before. And it certainly is not a challenge. This is not something that you're going to do for six weeks and then be done. It is something that is there for you to do for as the rest of your life. It's going to be your new lifestyle. It's going to be all your new habits. It's not going to be a short-term challenge. It's your new way of living. So the Motivate experience is going to involve... Over these eight weeks, you'll see that you've got, we start out with um, the first habit is optimal hydration, which should be easy for a lot of people. Um, it's the habit that uh, Dan John recommends to people. And I remember way back when I read, um, he was talking about help, keep helping people with habit change. And he said, people come to me and they say they want to lose weight. What should I do? And he says, go drink eight glasses of water a day. And they look at him, they're like, well, the, uh, that's it that you know but you know it's like go drink eight glasses of water a day then we'll come back to me and we'll talk so what he was really doing is giving that person something that they could do that they know that it's easy enough to do they're not giving anything up you can be successful you start to feel confident and then you're ready to move on to the next thing the next week we'll talk about purposeful movement and we're going to be setting some you know, basically, we're going to be learning a lot about the difference that purposeful movement makes just staying active in your life, not this is all aside from exercise. And then we're going to do mindful eating. And in this mindful eating, you're going to have a tracker and you're going to just write what you've eaten and how you felt after you ate it. So did some things make you feel sleepy? Did some things going to give you a headache? Just did something upset your stomach, give you indigestion, whatever. But instead of just eating mindlessly, we're going to talk about eating mindfully and creating maybe some habits for just the pace that you eat, eating slower, eating more focused. And then week four is when we're going to talk about protein and your fresh vegetables and fruit. Oops, how did that happen? And um, in that period, in that, that's when we're going to do some calculations with numbers and give you some numbers to shoot for in your in your meals every day. Um, stress management is huge. You can't lose weight if you're not getting enough sleep. And if you are stressed, there's a level of stress that makes you lose your appetite and you don't eat and then you, are, you will lose weight. That's not healthy. But it's that low hum of constant stress. It's work stress. It's deadline stress. It's people stress. It's that kind of stuff that we don't even, we aren't very often always aware of that actually that's that level that changes the hormones, increases your cortisol, and that's what really interferes with weight loss there. And so we'll, we'll deal with sleep. We're going to talk about um, adding protein and getting all those um, all of those elements dialed in. And the topics, mindset themes are here. We're also going to talk about some things like um, I am statements, and um, deciding every week what your weekly wins are, just to sort of so you because that's something my coach is always telling us we don't celebrate enough. We don't, you know, we're always so in a, such a hurry to like take on the next challenge that we don't really savor, which is I think is going to be my word for this year. We don't really savor the wins and enjoy our successes. So those are going to be our mindset themes. It's all going to be delivered on our app. You'll have daily lessons and some, some short videos, some lessons. You'll be tracking your habits. You'll have um, you'll have weekly calls if you want to be on the weekly call. One thing we learned in the pilot program is some people don't have time or don't want to be part of a weekly call. So if you don't want to be part of a weekly call, you can, I will be doing a personal check-in with everybody over the course of every week, just to make sure that we're, that you're where you want to be, that you don't have any questions, that everything is going as it should. 
The cool thing is the success toolkit that is this. It's backwards, but this is your motivate toolkit. This is such a great resource because not only will you have lessons in here to write, seeing things to reflect on, you'll be able, this is where your trackers are for your um, for your fuel and feel week. But also, once you fill this out, you will always have this to go back to going further down the road. If you feel like you need a little, just a little like kickstart, getting back, getting your head back in the game, you can go back and you can see where you were, what you were thinking and how you got kept yourself on track at the time. Um, it has journaling and reflections and um, it's just a great resource. Mindful eating, you'll have education on that and all of it about this is not going this is going to be about how you're going to eat for eight weeks this is going to be how you're going to be moving toward eating for forever from now on and then fitness we do encourage everybody and i know that most of you on the call are involved in some sort of fitness program if you are not involved in a fitness program we will talk further down the road about what that looks like for you so you have those weekly coaching sessions, you have the coaching community, we'll have a community in the My Coach app, so that if you have a recipe that you want to share, if you have a question, or if you want us to just share a success, you'll be able to go in in the community on the app and share those things, and I really do encourage you to take advantage of that and to be active in that group, and you will have just as much coaching support as you need or want. How much time does it take? That was a big question during the pilot group because everybody's busy. Everybody's got a lot of demands on them. What it demands is simply making it to your coaching session. So whether that's that weekly call or if it's a, at a different time during the week, just we, we, need, we do need to get those check-ins. Daily, you'll have something that'll pop up on the app that will say, read your lesson or watch your Watch your lesson, whichever it is. Be tracking your habits in your success toolkit. And whatever it is that your fitness program is, you'll be doing that. That might be daily. It might not even be every day. As needed, reach out for support. Just be mindful. Be aware of what's going on and let keep us apprised as to what's going on. The program dates are... February 13th to April 3rd. The coaching calls will be on Monday and all of the programming, weekly program will be starting on probably the Sunday before, but we'll get everybody set up on the app before we're ready to go. Um, so everybody wants to know how much it costs. I really hate these things where they do this X amount of value because they're always super, super um, inflated. So I made sure that when I calculated all of that, that really truly is the value of eight weeks of all of those things and the success toolkit. So the eight weeks is really, would typically if you bought those things a la carte would be $1,450. But because you're special, we are offering the eight week motivate program for $125 a month. Train Smarter Clients, existing Train Smarter Clients can get it for only $99 a month. If you are a, um, if you are not involved in a personal training program or any kind of exercise program, you actually can combine the Motivate program and get eight personal training sessions. So that would be one a week in a group for $700. And if you are a new client, we're offering a special rate just for this program, just for like coming up now for a 590. So you will have access to education, resources, strategies, coaching, accountability, whatever it is that you need. We are devoting these eight weeks to you and your pursuits. And in exchange, you are going to have the knowledge that you're going to need to get you through from here on out. Just fall back on what you know of the habits. 
and we'll be here for every step of the way. So all we have to do is you just need to let us know if you want to be signed up and start with us on February 13th, and we will be good to go. Does anybody have any questions? I think this the whole concept of the the habit change, reinforcing the habits, repeating the habits, creating the habits is absolutely just a game changer. It's the it was the piece that was missing my whole life when I was growing up with mom with her AIDS candies in the refrigerator and you know always trying to go work things off by with workouts and with burning calories and all that kind of stuff and it never worked and it really wasn't until I started to create certain habits that I stopped feeling like I was having to always give something up and get frustrated and start again. That was when I really sort of figured out that this really does work. <laughs>